everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do my first ever update on Frederick. He is now 16 months old, guys, and I've never done one of these. But it's definitely time for me to do one. So I basically, I'm not really going to talk about his first um, 16 months as much as what he is doing now. Because I want to update you guys on things he is doing now. Um, as you can hear him, he is chatting away to himself because he's playing with his blocks. So, um, don't mind if you can see Frederick like pop up here and also if you can hear him because he's a little chatterbox at the moment. So, obviously at the moment Frederick is 16 months old. He's currently weighing... 10.2 kilos and he is about 77 centimeters tall he is wearing a size one but he can still fit in a size zero but most of the time i put him in a size one just so it gives him a little bit of extra room to move with frederick's teeth he actually has all his teeth now um, so he's cut all of them except for his two-year-old molars. He stopped cutting his last tooth, I think it was about a month and a half ago. Um, so I'm pretty happy that he's cut all these teeth and we don't have to worry them, worry about them for a little while. But knowing Frederick, he will be cutting his two-year-old molars a little bit earlier than two. The words that Frederick is saying, he obviously started talking at about six months. That's when he did say his first word. The words that Frederick can say now is uh oh, no, um, yeah, mum, dad, nan, pop. And say kitty, um, tiger, um, Max, Lulu. Yeah, Tucker. He can say thank you. He can say what is that? Um, I don't know. He can also say baby and shoes. And I'm pretty sure that is everything. I've probably missed a few things, but that is basically everything that Freddie can say at the moment. He's very vocal. He's a very vocal baby. Next, we're going to talk about Frederick's food. So Frederick started eating solids at about five and a half months. He was just showing signs a little bit earlier than six months, but we wanted to push it as far back to six months as possible. So we got to five and a half months and the first thing he ate was pumpkin, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's it's either pumpkin or sweet potato, I can't remember the same. Yeah. I think it was about six and a half months we started to do baby lead weaning. Now, I am so glad we decided to do it. He just wouldn't eat out of a spoon. He just would like fling it or not eat it or like not open his mouth. So we decided to do baby lead weaning and I'm so glad we decided to do it, guys, because... Frederick is such an amazing eater, and I personally think it's because we did baby lead weaning. Frederick basically eats anything that's put in front of him. The only thing I have found that he doesn't like is kiwi fruit. Anything else, he will eat. Um, he literally loves anything. Every meat, literally every vegetable, almost every fruit, except for kiwi fruit. Um, he is such a fan of, like, rice and pasta and everything like he is such a good eater and i'm so glad we don't have a fussy eater whatsoever there's times where he is a little bit fussy obviously when he was teething he got a little bit fussy because he obviously had sore gums but other than that frederick has been a really 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 good eater next is sleep guys now frederick sleep routine has basically gone out the window since he started standing it's horrible um, so basically Frederick started sleeping through the night at two weeks old and there was times where he wouldn't sleep through the night but most of the time he did sleep through the night and then as soon as he started crawling it changed up a little bit. As soon as he started standing and walking which was about 10 months he was horrible so he basically hasn't slept through the night um, since 10 months or if he has it's been like two or three times um, but I honestly don't mind it because it's not like a terrible sleeper like he'll wake up like a couple of times but most of the time he will just want to put his dummy back in his mouth or me to tuck him back into his blanket and that is about it <laughs> Sometimes he does want to cuddle and I will cuddle him on his bed and um, he'll go back to sleep and most of the times I do fall asleep on his bed with him. 
Um, but other than that, he is an okay sleeper. Since we had changed him to his toddler bed, he has got a lot better. He, I felt like he was like feeling confined in his um, cot and that's why we took a rail down and decided to give him a toddler bed and he is doing a lot better than what he was in his cot and I'm happy for that because I'm getting a better sleep and Frederick is getting a better sleep. I'm honestly not too upset that Frederick doesn't really sleep through the night anymore because he is only 16 months. Um, I wouldn't expect most 16 months to sleep through the night so I don't really expect Frederick to sleep through the night. Before we get going I just want to talk quickly about Frederick's, some of Frederick's favourite toys and some of the chores that he does at the moment in our house. Um, so some of Frederick's toys are definitely his building blocks. He absolutely loves his building blocks. All the time when he comes into his room, because that's where they are in his room, he loves to build towers and then just push them over. That's all he does with his building block is he'll literally build towers and push them over. Another toy that he really, really, really loves is his pram. He can just either sit in it himself and let me push him around the house or um, he will put his baby in there and push it around the house. And that Frederick likes to like get out his books and like open the pages to his books. He also really likes puzzles at the moment. But lastly, before we get going, I'm going to talk about the chores that Frederick does. Now, some people will be like, you're making your 16 month do chores. I don't really classify them as chores. I just think of them as like learning activities. Um, so the things that Frederick does around our house, um, that is a chore. I mean, after Frederick wakes up and after we take off his dirty nappy, because he is wearing pull-ups with disposable nappies now, they actually have this like sticky thing that you can actually roll the nappy together and stick it together, which is really handy. And once it's rolled up into like a little, like, bundle, <laughs> I will give it to Frederick and I will tell him to go put it in the bin. He will open the bin, put it in and shut the bin. Another thing that Frederick does is that he feeds the cats in the morning. So he will pick up the cat um, dry biscuits and he will walk them all the way over to the cat bowl, put them down and then I will fill up the cat bowl. And then he does the same, picks it up and goes, puts it back in the pantry. He also does this at night with the cat's wet sachets. He will take the sachets to their cat bowls. I will empty them and then Frederick will put the sachets into the bin. The thing we have started is that when I put the washing on, Frederick actually helps me load the washing machine sometimes. But most of the time when we're doing the washing, when I put the powder in, she shuts the powder dispenser and he actually turns the washing machine on so like i put it on to what settings we want and then i will get him to press um you know go last chore that he does um every week is that on monday nights he helps put the bins out with me and on tuesday mornings we bring them back in they're definitely his favorite other than that that is all the chores that frederick does at the moment that i can remember he probably does something else but i honestly can't remember it but we're going to get going because this is all i have to chat with you guys today i know frederick wasn't really in this video that much but i know you guys can hear him maybe next time when we do another one of these he will be in it a little bit more but until then he is not so i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not already and i guess we'll see you all tomorrow bye, bye, bye.